I've got a little different video for you today. I've got a lot of different herbicides out and I'm gonna walk through them and kind of give you a brief overview of the different ones I'm seeing and what they do for the lawn. Today's video is sponsored by Graham Spray Equipment. If you need a spray rig for your business, go to GrahamSE.com or give those guys a call. Behind me is my 400 gallon Graham Spray Rig. I use this to run my weed control and fertilization business. Okay, so I got a bunch of stuff out here and I'm just gonna kind of walk through this with you and some of you just may just flip out if you start looking up the prices on some of these things but when you actually you look at the price of the bottle you know that's when people fall out of their chair but when you look at the price per application and you and a lot of these come in smaller quantities but if you look at it like well what did that cost to spray a normal size yard it's actually most of the time pretty reasonable though the sticker shot can get you on the initial price of the bottle so it may be in no particular order uh, covering these and just thought give you an idea of what the professionals use when they're out spraying yards so gonna start over here and I buy from a company called Harold's this is my non-ionic surfactant so what the surfactant does a lot of times when you're using a, a post emergent product that it works through the leaves of the plant it's gonna help break down that surface tension of the leaf to make the plant absorb the herbicide better okay herbicide herbicide we talked about in another video somebody correct me said so i wasn't supposed to put an h d to h whatever uh you get what i'm saying so that's what this one is this is our surfactant i'm going to put that in my gram spray rig when i'm blanket spraying the yard if i'm spot treating uh, you just put a, a small amount in there for spot treat all right moving on over here we've got change up if you watch my channel you might hear me talk about change up a lot what i like about change up is it can be used on warm season and cool season grasses. It uh, comes in smaller quantities if you don't want to buy a two and a half gallon jug. And it's pretty reasonably priced per application. A lot of times we're looking at the price per thousand square feet when you're pricing out a product. Not Again, not the price of the jug. The Change Up is a great product for a lot of your broadleaf weeds. I use it a lot. I use it blanket spray and I use it as spot treating. For spot treating weeds, go like three quarters of an ounce per gallon of water. Uh, it's very tolerant, uh, our, our centipede grass is very tolerant of it. A lot of times we'll combine it with another product like Manor here, uh, which is Metzulfuron. So a lot of things you can do with change up. Very good on just about any broadleaf weed in the yard. Triplet, uh, a product that oftentimes I'm gonna mix in with my application I'm doing either early in the year like for me in, in alabama in january i'm going to be out there spraying a, a, a pre-emergent and i'm going to mix in it a post-emergent like triplet going to work great on broadleaf weeds so the triplet uh, probably going to be a little bit cheaper per application than the change up though change up will help get some of the tougher broadleaf weeds that triplet won't get like yellow wood sorrel like uh, field matter is another one that change up's great on that triplet is not so great on but just a broad leaf application broad uh, sp well spray in the whole yard um, with the product then triplet is great for that and again we talking about the pre-emergent this is the one i'm using early in the year prodiamine you can also use it late in the year you know in the fall to get ahead of your cool season weeds uh, you can see this one's under Resolute, but the active ingredient is Prodiamine. Prodiamine is a is a product of generic, you know, generic versions of it out there. So you can get it under different brand names. But uh, this Resolute put 24 ounces per acre. If you don't know how to figure out how much water you need and how you know, people sometimes say, how much do I put in five gallons? You know, how much do I put in 20 gallons? Well, it depends on how you're calibrated. So you can search for lawn care life calibration and watch the calibration video on youtube and that would be helpful for you but this is great getting ahead of your weeds here in alabama i wanted to get this down in january or february before the crabgrass typically germinates in my area sometimes late february sometimes early march when you're talking about pre-emergence another one that you might hear me talk about spectacle flow now this one the people with cool season grasses do not use it. This is a very expensive bottle. Retail on this is over $2,000 per gallon. You heard me right, $2,000 per gallon. 
but again it goes a long way in the fall I'm using it six and a half ounces per acre I might come back in April uh, and put it out at six ounces per acre it's gonna do great on getting ahead of a lot of weeds like Kalinga in the fall it's, it's a great product for Poa annuum though not a perfect product uh, but it is a great product it is uh, pre-emergent can even have some what we call reach back on some weeds like POA so the idea being that hopefully would even help in controlling POA that has already germinated where like a prodiamine product is not going to be very effective if the weed is already germinated moving on along here you've got Princip this is the active ingredient Simazine again you could buy it under different names this is a Syngenta product we're going to put uh, Simazine in with the fall application. So again, on warm season grasses, Bermuda and Zoysia lawns, I'm going to go out with Spectacle and I'm going to put Princep in there and then maybe a product like Triplet or, or just 2,4-D, which Triplet has 2,4-D in it, or maybe something like, like the Manor, the Metzulfiron we talked about. So that could be my application for Bermuda and Zoysia lawns. If it was a Centipede St. Augustine lawn, I've kind of gotten away from using spectacle on those I would just probably go with the prodiamine in the fall with the simazine on those cue ball this is quinclorac is the active ingredient so this is what we're using as a post emergent for crabgrass so for instance in March and April when the crabgrass has already germinated in my area and I'm a little bit late on the prodiamine I might use prodiamine anyway Put the triplet in there for the broadleaf weeds. I might even spike it with the manor, the metzulfuron here, very cheap product. But I might also put cue ball in there or quinclorac. You might also hear the name drive accelerate, same active ingredient. And if I put that in there, then hopefully it's going to kill that baby crabgrass that's already germinated. Now it would have been a lot better if I could have just sprayed the prodiamine before the crabgrass germinate. But if the customer calls in March or April and crabgrass already germinated, I'm gonna go with the cue ball mixed with the prodiamine. If it hadn't germinated yet, I'm covered with the prodiamine. If it has germinated, off with the cue ball will get it. But usually I wanna have a conversation with that customer and say, hey, we're late on the pre-emergent. It's, it's a possibility, maybe even a likely possibility that you're gonna have some crabgrass this summer. Surge, not a product I use a lot, uh, but it can be an effective product broadleaf herbicide what I use it for a lot of times it has 2,4-D in it dicamba some of the same ingredients you'll find some of these others what I use it for is a post emergent for dove weed I don't have a lot of dove weed yards but if I get one surge is a product that will give you some control on dove weed it may take two applications but you can use it for spot treating and will have a lot of effectiveness on, on a lot of different weeds it has sulfitrazone in it which is the active ingredient it dismiss which is going to be good on your sedges so this can be kind of a a wide spectrum product that could give you some activity on sedges as well as broadleaf weeds atrazine this is a restricted use pesticide uh, there are some concerns with it so it, again it's a restricted use that it's not necessarily available to homeowners as the way i understand it well we'll put that in our round one application like on a centipede st austin yards a lot of times early in the year I just spray atrazine it's going to help with those broadleaf weeds on Bermuda zoysia yard sometimes I'll put atrazine in there with the prodiamine and the trivet over here you got tau star it's actually an insecticide this is bifenthrin so for instance you think what do, what do these guys do when you get uh, army worms things like that chinch bugs spittle bugs we use a product like this tau star it's got bifenthrin in it it's going to go out there and spray it works on ants and everything so lawn insects uh, tau star or there's other generic versions of bifenthrin that you can use coming down here in front we got dismiss now this has a sulfentrazone you got to be careful with it now it will burn the grass uh, some give you a little little discoloration for sure uh, in hot weather so you want to be careful but you can go up to 12 ounces per acre with this mist or you can spot treat with it uh, it is it's for sedges it'll give you that burn down on your kalinga yellow nut sedge there's some thought that if you even get it out early enough it's going to give you some extended control so you know maybe a yard you know is just covered in sedges you might spray it in in april and give you some 
uh, extended control on your sedges. A lot of products are going to have dismiss in them, and we can talk about that. That's, this, when I say dismiss, I'm talking about sulfentrazone is the, the active ingredient. We talked about surge had dismiss in it or sulfentrazone. This is just dismiss. It's, you know, so great for burning down your sedges. This is dismiss NXT. So it's the sulfentrazone plus the carfentrazone. Uh, so it's going to give you a little bit broader spectrum of weeds. It's going to work on the sedges but also uh, give you some broadleaf weed control as well. When you, when you go to a, a specialty price, usually a little bit more expensive, but it's gonna be, ha have a broader range of weeds it's gonna control. SureGuard, this little jug here, at the time of this video, maybe 600 bucks or something. There's the time where you can fall out of your chair. Uh, but you only put a quarter of an ounce per gallon of water when I'm spraying flower beds. You wanna know how you keep weeds out of your flower beds or your, your landscaping or bare rocks or whatever? I'll mix two ounces of glyphosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup, and a quarter of an ounce of this in a gallon of water. So if I got a four gallon backpack sprayer, I'll put one ounce of this in there and eight ounces of glyphosate. Go spray the beds. Now you don't wanna spray where you're gonna plant seasonal flowers and you don't wanna get it on anything that you're trying to live you know so the green part you can spray around the shrubs just don't get it on the shrubs so it's a great product uh, for that and works great I will usually do that like maybe three times a year and it, very very effective product spectacle flow we mentioned that already if you want to uh, an expensive yet effective pre-emergent then uh, this is one I'm using a lot of times yeah I'm using this mostly on my Bermuda and zoysia lawns you know, here's some products that I'm, I'm often spot treating weeds with. You got Celsius. You probably heard me talk a lot of times on mixing Celsius and certainty if you are regular to the channel. A lot of times what we'll do when we're spot treating, these are going to be more expensive per application, but again, you're just spot treating. You're not blanketing the whole yard. So on a product like Celsius, or I might even uh, use change up as an example, you know, those are going to be good on your broadleaf weeds, but a lot of times what we'll do is mix a sedge product with them. So I'll take a product like Celsius and I'll mix a product like Certainty with it or Pro Sedge. And so that gives me broadleaf weeds and, and a little bit of grassy weeds. And if I put one of these with it, now I'm also effective on sedges. So I can walk over that yard and pretty much go after any weed in the yard and get some effectiveness. Now, uh, a lot of these are warm season products, not all of them. Some of them can be used on cool season grasses, but I'm in the warm season climate so I just deal with warm season grasses. Now I tell you that's what we do we mix products uh, a broadleaf product with a sage product well Bayer decided to do it for you now it's in view not Bayer but they made Celsius extra so it's basically Celsius with uh, like the active ingredient that's in Pro Sage so they just went ahead and put the sage product in there for you and it's all done for you in one convenient bottle so they knew what we were doing did it for you. Manor is Metzulfuron, very difficult to mix in small batches, uh, but it's an extremely cheap product, like sometimes less than five cents per thousand, uh, I'm sorry, I think it's less than, yeah, I believe I'm right on that, less than five cents per thousand square feet. So, meaning if I spray, spray a 10,000 square foot yard, it costs you about 50 cents. Now, uh, yeah, I'm gonna often mix stuff with it, but you you don't want to be careful with this. You do want to be careful, rather I should say, and not try to mix it in a small little batch because it's a tiny amount. There's a quarter of an ounce per acre, or maybe a third of an ounce per acre. So I'll put this in my Graham spray rig. Helps with a lot of tough weeds. A lot of uh, it's a it's a cheaper product, but again, you want to be careful trying to mix it in small batches. Tribute total. We talked about mixing products a while ago. Again, this is kind of your, a product for Bermuda and zoysia lawns that you can use on a lot of different product. Uh, I'm sorry, a lot of different weeds. So if you just want one product on Bermuda and zoysia lawns that you can use for grassy weeds, sedges, broadleaf weeds, Tribute Total is great. I like Tribute Total for Dallas grass. Sometimes I'll mix Tribute Total and go on down here and get some dismiss. You put both those together and it is a Dallas grass wrecking ball. But now it may discolor your grass a little bit on Bermuda and zoysia lawns. That is a good combination for Dallas grass. Blindside, very effective product. I don't know of anything better that if you got onions and garlic in your yard, wild onions, wild garlic, blindside is great. Now you could just use straight manor, um, which is the metzulfuron, but blindside is metzulfuron plus sulfentrazone. So you got uh, you got the metzulfuron 
plus the dismiss, you mix them together, you got blindside. You can buy it in a convenient bottle or you can mix them on your own. But I use blindside a lot. Excellent on sedges like Kalinga, yellow nut sedge. It's gonna do great on tough weeds like Virginia buttonweed, uh, the oxalis or yellow wood sorrel. Very versatile product, excellent on onions, garlic, things like that. Pro Sedge, gonna be uh, of these products I'm talking about that are good with sedges. Pro Sedge is probably one of the least expensive and excellent on purple and yellow nut sedge, just not as good on Kalinga. So if, if you don't have a lot of Kalinga, uh, but you got a lot of purple and yellow nut sedge, you could use something like this. Or you could even put a little Pro Sedge with your Dismiss, which is great on the Kalinga. And now you got a, a combination like that. Or I might mix, change up for broadleaf weeds, mix it with the Pro Sedge. Now I'm good on broadleafs and purple and yellow nut sedge. But again, wouldn't want to do that if I'm seeing a lot of Kalinga. If you want something a little more versatile than Pro Sedge, you could go to Certainty. Certainty is good on yellow and purple nut sedge, but also good on Kalinga. So there's a lot of options for you. There's other sage products. Solero is another popular one that's good on yellow and purple nut sedge as well as Kalinga. Um, Certainty is probably the one I'm using the most because it, it does give me some coverage on Kalinga as well as yellow no, and purple nut sedge. A lot of things here. Hopefully I confused you, but hopefully I didn't confuse you too bad. Could be a little intimidating, but I thought this would give you a good overview and talk to you a little bit about what the professionals are using out there in the lawn. If you hadn't done so, please subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be making more content for you, trying to make it relevant for you. And you can ask questions below. I'll put some links in the description if you wanna check out some of these products. Also, if you wanna get into weed control and fertilization like me, you go to LawnCareLife.com and there is the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy. That is a course that I've designed to help people who are wanting to get started with weed control and fertilization. But for warm season grasses, I'm hoping one day to add content for cool season grasses as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.